How's it going? Today I'm going to do a comparison of two top-of-the-line phones and a cinema camera. So I'm going to compare the Xperia Pro i, which is what you're seeing right now. I'm comparing that to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is what you're seeing right now. And this is the rear-facing camera and the One X lens. And I'll be comparing those two phones against the Sony FX3 cinema camera, and that's what you're seeing right now. I have the 16 to 35 f4 lens on it. I'm zoomed in to 24 millimeters at f4. So basically, I'm trying to simulate the approximate field of view and depth of field that you'd get from the phones on the FX3. So let's do this little comparison, getting started right now. I want to take a quick moment here to tell you about a new course I added to my online film school, Unscripted Studio. It's all about learning the basics of filmmaking with your iPhone. I'll teach you about the settings, how I do my tricky camera moves, the basics of storytelling, and editing music and sound effects in Final Cut Pro. So if you want to make movies on your phone, check out the link in the description for more details. My first little comparison here is a three-way selfie with the wide lenses of all three cameras. So we've got the Xperia Pro i, iPhone, and FX3, all shooting at the same time from more or less similar angles. So you can see how each camera looks with the wide lens. And you can also gauge how I sound because all three are approximately the same distance from me. So this is the built-in mic sound from all three cameras. Now I'm doing a walking selfie with the Xperia Pro i using the One X lens, 24 millimeter lens. Uh, so I am walking and talking and using the built-in stabilization. You can see how stable it is and how clear the audio is. Now I'm doing my selfie with the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the One X rear-facing lens. This is not the selfie lens. This is the one on the back of the phone. So I am holding the phone away from me. I can't really see what I'm shooting. I'm just shooting blind with the One X lens, walking and talking using the built-in stabilization on the iPhone. And now I'm doing a walking selfie with the FX3. So once again, I have the 16 to 35 F4 lens on here. We are zoomed in to 24 millimeters. And what I'm doing here is I'm using the gyro stabilization in post, which is the best stabilization that this camera offers. I have turned off the in-body image stabilization on the camera and I'm stabilizing it in post using the Catalyst Browse software. I also increased my shutter speed a little bit to make the stabilization work a little better. We're at one 125th shutter. Okay, I'm shooting a selfie here from three different perspectives. We've got the FX3, the iPhone, and the Xperia Pro i. So the FX3 is at f4, Xperia Pro i is at f2. iPhone, I don't know the aperture because I'm using the default camera app, so I can't really tell. Uh, but let's see how it picks up my voice. All three are the same distance from me. So you can see how the internal mic picks up my voice when there's some music in the background. Okay, it's a little bit noisy here in the shop, and I'm actually kind of amazed that they're letting us shoot this, but uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds, let's see how it looks, uh, let's see which picks up the best color and the best sound. FX3, doing a selfie, FX3. Xperia Pro i, selfie, F2. iPhone, selfie with the rear camera.
Okay, sun's going down now, it's dusk time, and I am standing outside, and you can see how the Xperia Pro I handles this light. My white balance is set to daylight, which means that everything's gonna come out kind of blue. This is actually a creative decision. I thought it would look kind of cool. So we'll just see how this turns out. Okay, and now we have the iPhone, and I have turned down the exposure a tiny bit, about 0.7 stops, so that you can see a little bit more of the detail in the highlights. I didn't want to blow out the highlights too much. So this is iPhone with negative 0.7 exposure compensation. And now the FX3 shooting still at F4 and I have bumped up my ISO to ISO 2500 so that I could have a little bit more detail there in the shadows uh, and it's preserving the highlights pretty well in spite of the ISO. 16 millimeter lens now on the Xperia Pro I and I'm walking and vlogging here. So I'm at 150th shutter which means that there's going to be some motion blur in my shot and the gyro stabilization of this phone will then uh, leave some of that blur in the shot, which basically looks like an artifact. Uh, it doesn't look that great. So that's why I'm doing this little test, walking and vlogging, so you can see how the stabilized image looks with a slower shutter. iPhone wide lens, walking and vlogging. So it's using a slow shutter automatically. I can't choose the shutter speed in the default camera app. And as such, you will probably see some motion blur artifacts as I walk and talk. And here's the FX3 at 16 millimeters. I have turned off the stabilization inside the camera and I'm stabilizing it in post with Catalyst Browse. So this is post stabilized using gyro data, FX3. Okay, thanks for watching this comparison of the Sony Xperia Pro I, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the Sony FX3. And if you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.